All right, next on the list, 3.3.5, compare MD5 hash. All right, so first thing, we got these files downloaded that are under our downloads folder, and we want to see if they have been altered. So what we're going to have to do is open up good old PowerShell, we'll hit start, hit PowerShell, right-click it, run as administrator. Then we're going to have to change to the C drive. So how we do that is do CD for change directory, C colon backslash downloads, down, backs, backslash, and cancel. And we do C colon backslash downloads. There we go. Now we're in the directory. Now we can compare that file. So we're going to have to do get the content, get dash or tag content, get dash file hash. That rhymes. Release. We hit tab to auto complete it. And we're going to say a dash A M and M D five. Oh, boom, there it is. There is our hash. Awesome, okay, cool. So let's go get the content of that release. So we're gonna do git slash content release release 821 tab. There we go, and then it auto-completed it. All right, so we're gonna hit enter there, and there are the two hashes. Okay, cool, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy this guy. Let's copy, highlight it, control C, paste it guy over here, bam. All right, then I'm gonna get this guy, control C, paste it over here. I'm gonna see if these two are equal. So let's get rid of some space here and a space here. We're gonna paste that in there, control C, and then we're gonna right click there, paste it, and let's do an up arrow. And put those in quotes. And we're going to compare these files. Oops. One over, quote. Quote. Go to the end. And do another quote. And go boom. All right. They do not match. It has been tampered with. So we're going to answer this question. And do, the, how, do they match? No, they do not match. Check the answers. Oh, 100%. Moving on to the next lab. Let me know if you have any questions.